I'm going to start with the research series now. And first of all, I'll be covering about a topic which is research metrics. So research metrics, kya hota hai? they are the quantitative tools with which we know about the impact of or quality of the research outputs. Is ka matlab kya hai? That if you want to publish any article in any journal, you want to know the impact of that journal through the research metrics. Jaha pe jis journal ka impact jo hai, wo zada hoga, jo achha hoga, wahi pe you'll try as a researcher to publish the the article same way we can have the research metrics for the article also and for the researcher also so the research metrics can be broadly classified into the uh, article impact journal impact and the author impact so what is the meaning of article impact it means that how many number of times article has been cited suppose you have written one article which has been uh, cited uh, five uh, which has got the citation of five or 10 or 15 it means it is of good quality that people are the researchers are reading your article and they are citing your paper also so as the number of citation for any paper will increase it means this paper this article has got the more impact then we have the journal impact which is also known as impact factor of the journal iska kya matlab hai the frequency with which average article in a journal has been cited in a particular year. This means what? Like, if like, a journal has been cited in a particular year, in a particular year mein, it means that journal has got good impact factor and you can think of publishing your article in that journal which has got the good impact factor. Then the third matrix is author impact where you see the quality of researchers, the quality or impact of the authors. Just researcher ki citations zyada hongi in the form of citation, citations, H index or I index. It means that the person is publishing good quality researches. So we'll be discussing about uh, these different kinds of research metrics. So in this presentation, I'll be covering about important research metrics which we use uh, very commonly. That is impact factor. H index and I10 index. There are many more other types of research metrics also, but uh, in this presentation, I'll be restricting it to just three types of research metrics. So starting with the impact factor, which is also known as journal impact factor or JIF. So basically it was given by Thomas Reuter and uh, uh, it is something which is very commonly used to assess the quality of a journal. Aapko kisi bhi journal ki impact factor ko deke pata chalega ki wo journal jo hai wo quality journal hai ki nahi hai and the researchers before publishing any article can use uh, this JIF or journal impact factor to know, to compare the journals that unko apna jo article hai journal may publish karna chahiye, depending on the impact factor of that journal. So uh, how it is calculated? How do calculate karte hai, uh, impact factor? Ko? Basically, impact factor of any year is, you can see here also, is equal to citations of that particular year upon publications in the last two years. That is, uh, if you want to uh, see the impact factor of any journal in the year, say, 2024, so what you have to see is that in 2024, uh, 23 or 24, like last two years, 22 or 23, how many citations were there in that journal and how many articles were there in 2023 and 2024 and uh, 22 were published in the last two years. How many articles are published in and how many articles are cited in So if you would like to take one example, suppose that you want to calculate the impact factor of a journal in the year 2018. So what you have to see, you have to see how many numbers were cited, how many articles were cited in the year 2016 and 17. Suppose they were 153, 63 plus 90 here and how many numbers of articles were published in the year 2016 and 2017? So suppose it was 195. So it gives the impact factor score of 0 0.785 of that particular journal in that particular year that is 2018. What is the that uh, when when the these uh, tools are been used to assess the 
GIF, they don't include certain kind of articles like editorials or letter to editors, etc. They are just uh, calculating them on the basis of review articles or on the basis of original articles. So, jitna number zada hoga impact factor ka, utna hi zada jo hai uski quality hogi. So, it has been seen, uh, seen that if a, a journal has got more than 10 impact factor, it means it is of very high quality and at least it should have an impact factor of more than 3. You can have different types of impact factors also. But remember, Thomas Reuter is something which has been considered to be a good uh, impact factor. So talking about the highest impact factor journals in uh, the medical field, it has been seen that one journal that is New England Journal of Medicine was always ranking high uh, in the impact factor. But in the year 2023-24, the Lancet has got more impact factor as compared to uh, the NEGM. So in 23-24, the impact factor for Lancet is 202.731 and uh, for NEGM it is 176.082 it is very high impact factor but yes if it is more than three it is good enough to get your article published in the particular journal the next one is five year impact factor so that we talked about one year impact factor if we would like to calculate the five year impact factor so why we need to uh, see the five year because it tells about the longevity of the research the the quality of a journal for a long period of time say for five years of time so is kya hai how to calculate that you have to see the number of citations in one year uh, uh, to content publish in the previous five years upon number of articles which were published in the previous five years. So we'll just see one more example. Like if you have any impact factor in any journal, ka five years impact factor assess karna hai. Suppose you have to check uh, the impact factor in the year 2017. Seven. So uh, the last five years, last than the seven, that is one, six, five, four, three, two. Aap un sab ka dekho ke kitne articles jo hai wo cite hu hai. What is the citation in the year 2006? 5, 4, 3, and 2, and you have to sum all of them. And then how many articles were published in those five years? Total number of articles. Suppose if the citations were 12,236 in the five years and the number of articles which were published was 1,115. So this will be giving the impact factor of five years to that journal as 10.974, pretty good impact factor. So this is how five years impact factor is different from the yearly impact factor. Then the next one is H index. So uh, as impact factor tells you about the quality of uh, particular journal, the H index tells about the uh, the quality of the author, we can say it is about the quality of the researcher. So uh, how much researcher is productive and uh, how many citations a person or researcher has, it has been depicted with uh, the metric that is H index. So how do calculate karte hai H index? Ko? You have to see for the particular author, particular researcher, number of articles published which have received the same number of citations. It means what? If a person has seven H index, it means that that scientist, that researcher has got seven papers published and each paper has been cited for at least seven times. It means seven into seven, at least a person has 49 number of citations. So if a person has got the H index of two, it means his two articles have got the citation of two each. That, that is the meaning of H index. I'll take just from my example, uh, not a very pretty much uh, high value, but I just thought to give you one example. So here we can say, uh, I have got the citation uh, count of 60 and the H index is five. You can see it here also, H index is five. So what this five means, this five means that my five articles have been uh, cited five times each so we can see again uh, here you can see here this article has been cited 11 like more than five 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 but this article has been cited for three times only so i have got five articles which have been cited for at least five times it means i have got the impact factor the uh, h index of five will not be calling it impact factor because it is we are not talking about the journal here we are talking about a particular author here so we have it is the h index the next one is your i10 index which is a bit more higher as compared to your h index isme kya hai isme kisi bhi author like again it is for the uh, like uh, researcher only 
the number of publication with at least 10 citations. Agar kisi bhi researcher ki 10 citations hai ek article mein, he'll be getting the item index of 1. If he has got 20 citations, then he'll be getting it uh, like Two. So uh, this is very simple, simple measure and it has been used by the Google Scholar in, uh, and it's another way to help the uh, to help to know about the productivity of the scholar. So again, I'll take my example. So here we can see that I have got these articles published out of which uh, just one article I have got for more than uh, which has got more than 10 uh, publications, 10 citations. So here we can see that I have got the I10 index of one. So if it is I10 in text of one, it means that my article, I have got one article which has uh, been cited for more than 10 times. So this is how I10 index is being uh, assessed. So I think this is uh, simple and you'll be remembering about these metrics. We talked about impact factor. We talked about five-yearly impact factor also. Then we talked about H index and we talked about I index. Impact factor tells about the importance or impact of the journal, whereas H index and I index tells about the quality of the researcher. So that's it for today. Thank you so much.